gamers, you need to be careful out there. I almost got scammed. I could have had my Steam account stolen from me. And you know what? It was pretty close. Not really, but you know, I, I want to put the word out there. So let me set the stage. I'm playing Overwatch 2, you know, having a good time. Not really, it's Overwatch 2, you can't have fun in that game. And then I get messaged by someone. They sent me the Wumpus Wave. That's already a bad sign. Who sends the Wumpus Wave? And obviously ask me, Hello, sorry to bother you, are you the owner of the Steam account? With the picture of my Steam account, and I reply, Perhaps. And then he goes, Please don't get furious at me. I made a tremendous error by reporting you for unlawful purchasing instead of someone else. If you don't take action, your account will be suspended and your IP will be blacklisted on Steam, according to Steam supports. I posted an item on the markets, and someone bought it. However, I did not receive the $375 from the buyer. They have the same picture as your Steam, and I'm not sure if they are impersonating you, and I assumed it was you. So they include a picture of the Steam Marketplace, where someone with my username and icon bought something from him for $373, and they include in our image of a message from Steam Supports. It reads as, we have reviewed your ban request. The request review for a ban has been approved. The banning request took a bit longer than just the minimum duration provided in the moderation policy, which would be 24 hours. Steam is investigating a report of a suspicious activity on your account. The person, my URL, you've reported could be banned permanently, as well as its IP will be blacklisted on the Steam community and lose access to his or her account unless he or she submits an appeal and provides evidence of the issue. If you are unable to provide the information requested, we will be unable to assist you and will be forced to shut down this issue. For a continuous investigation, please feel free to contact a few of our Valve moderators. You can contact him on Discord platform, Discord Dance, for live investigation. In addition to contact violations, actions on the account may be in violation of state and federal laws. If such behavior continues, Valve retains the ability to report the incident to relevant authorities. If the reported account's owner is unable to appeal, disciplinary action will be taken in the next three hours. Ban request. Thank you for contacting Steam Supports, actual Steam employee. So now our friend here goes, I desperately need your assistance because I tried to explain to them that the profile ID was incorrectly reported and that I did not intend to report you, but they will not listen to me unless you can assist me. Now reply, oh law, not crazy. What do we need to do? Our friend then goes, I didn't mean to report your Steam accounts. Could you please help me explain this issue to the Steam admin so that we can solve this issue ASAP? And also, they wanted to hear your clarification about this issue to avoid getting banned or lock your Steam accounts. I then reply, yeah, dude, it's fine. And I'm ready to explain. And then he goes, okay, based on the report ticket, he must contact this Steam admin, Discord at, because your account has already been flagged as being under investigation. Please assist me in explaining that I mistakenly reported your account for making illegal purchases on Steam Market instead of someone else's. Here's Discord, Discord at, explain to the Steam admin everything, explain to Steam admin everything that it was only a mistaken report. Now me, the reasonable person, goes like, on Discord? A bit odd, don't you think? And then our friend here replies, this is why I messaged you here. The Steam Valve employee wants you to confirm to him that it was an accident report and you were not involved in it. That he can remove it and we can assure that your account is safe. Now, obviously, I sent this account a friend request, but they weren't online. So now I, I just start fucking around and go, they're not online. It's over for me, bro. Prayer emoji. Prayer emoji. Prayer emoji. Now our friend here to attempt to calm me down, goes, Just help me explain this issue to the Steam admin, because I tried my best to explain this issue, but they won't listen to me, unless you can help me explain this issue to the Steam admin. Did you already send a request? With me going, Yeah, we tried our best though. And our friend, just, you know, confidence through the roof goes, Okay, can you please wait until the Steam admins accept slash notice your request? And I go, I'm waiting. For real, for real. Is it possible that you can send me the account that scammed you? Bro? Dude, please don't leave me. I'm scared for my accounts. Fearful emoji. Fearful emoji. Fearful emoji. <laughs> now, here I noticed that the Steam admins actually accepted my friend request, so I messaged them. Hello, I'm here to get my account banned. I mean, unbanned. Sorry. And they reply with the wumpus wave. You know someone's better when they respond with the wumpus wave. <laughs> Now, in a code block, they reply, Greetings, this is real Steam support. May I ask what kind of issue are you involved? And I reply, I feel like we both know, but since you asked a code block, I'll answer. 
Someone reported me on accident, and they found my Discord to tell me to message you. So I don't want to lose my Steam account with 131 games and lots of money spent on Trove. And I'm scared. Fearful emoji. Please answer. I was told I only have three hours to fix this, and an hour has already passed. That means I only have two hours left. Real Steam support. Please respond. No, obviously they don't respond. So now we go back to our conversation with our good old friend here, where he asks, Did she notice your request? Not yet, I respond. Bro, I need you to tell me. Everything is going to be okay. Please, just this one time. I don't want to lose everything. And our friend responds, Don't worry, mates. Since you already added the Steam admin, you just need to wait until they accept. I respond, You didn't actually need to say it, but thanks though. But like, for real. Could you send me the account that scammed you? That would help us prove that I've done nothing wrong. And a friend replies, But now, mates, I can't reach him anymore. He changed everything. Also the profile. That's why I mistakenly reported you. And our last message was, but he'd still be in your market history trying to buy it now. You sent it a screenshot an hour ago. And I got blocked by both accounts. So, you know. Watch out for these guys. Probably not these guys specifically, but like, this loop. You know, they're trying to get your shit. They tried getting my shit, but I'm, I'm, I'm smarter than them. I'm smarter 